Kirov reporting. Hello comrades. So, I was about to try Cyclone Ice Spear, but then I remember about Lancing Steel. Probably one of the most underrated trigger skill for cast on crit, why? Basically with this skill we can trigger 20 skills in just one second. Especially with greater multiple projectile, and call of steel, which increases the number of projectiles. And by the way, path of building calculate damage wrong. So, for this build we're gonna use dead eye, two additional projectile, and effect of your marks is perfectly fit for this build. First of all, we need weapon. At first I was about to use two-handed sword, with cast on crit mod. But I think that one-handed sword could be much better, since we can also use shield. So I bought this one, sword with fractured 27% attack speed. Slam it with spell damage essence. Then prefix cannot be changed. And, veiled chaos orb. And, the most important mod on this sword, hits can't be evaded. Also, we need new tree, since we can't miss, we want this two nodes. Well, it took 18 crucible. Body armor, with spell, and attack crit. So, first of all, we need suffixes cannot be changed. And, reforge it with caster modifier, for bonus curse. And of course, make it 6 link. Wow, that's must be my fastest 6 link in my life. Shield, with fractured plus 1 cold spell skill. Craft it with life essence. Chance to block, avoid elemental ailments, not bad. And of course, we need new tree. Wow, first try, 80 life, and 10% chance to deal double damage, that's all we need. Next item, Stygian Vice Belt, with cooldown reduction. So, we found cooldown mod, now let's combine it with increased maximum life. Wow, Awakener's Orb is really cheap this league, I wonder why. Well, prefix is open, so not bad. Casual rare gloves, with life, elemental and chaos resistance. Helmet, with this enchantment. Since we're gonna have a lot of power charges, we need helmet with plus one power charge, and cold penetration. First, let's find cold penetration. So, it roll with another redeemer mod. We can use an element, or orb of dominance, and try to get even more penetration. Good, now we need power charge helmet, and awakener's orb. That's okay. And, let's slam it with Exalt Orb. Dear One Suppress, now it worth something. Rings, with open prefix, so we can craft minus non-channeling mana cost, which is really important, because we about to deal with 20 cast per second. Same with second ring. And amulet, again, with two open prefix. And of course boots, I use same boots for my previous build, so nothing special. Big cluster jewel. And medium, with tons of crits. Timeless jewel, with high dominus mod, which gives this keystone. And, last item, watcher's eye. By the way, our goal in this build is to get 52% cooldown recovery, 
31 from Awake and Cast on Crit, 16 from Belt, and Rest from Boots. Since we hit like 30 projectiles every time we attack, we can use two skills to proc. First is obviously Ice Spear, and second is Freezing Pulse, or Eye of Winter. So, for this build I use different Atlas Tree, with Legion. Abyss. and Breach. Also, look at this Star Forge I made. Nine hundred fifty physical DPS, Star Forge build incoming. To be honest, I like this more than Cyclone, since we don't need to be in melee range. This is what 15,000 hours in Path of Exile looks like. So yeah, overall, crazy single target damage, unique playstyle, and good clear map speed. Estimated cost, around 70 divines, but it could be much cheaper. And of course, if you like this video, leave a like, or comment, or both. See ya in the next videos, comrades. Gear of reporting.